guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing some DIYing. I am really excited about this. I'm going to be making soy candles and maybe some other fun DIY gift ideas for you. I am super excited about today's video because it is being sponsored by Candle Science. They have these awesome kits like this I'm going to show you in a second and you can make your own soy candles. I love it. I think the pricing is absolutely amazing. But yes, we are going to be making candles today. Super excited. So let's go. So I'm going to start out with a nice little unboxing of this box. The instructions are right on the top and it is step by step, which is absolutely amazing. So you cannot mess up. It is amazing directions. And then on the back side, it just shows you everything that you receive inside your box and it has everything that you could possibly need to make candles. The only thing extra that you do need is like a spoon and another pot to do like a boiler for your candles. But other than that, it's all there. Thermometer, your wax, your wicks, your little pot to put your wax in, containers for your candles. These are super cute. They have different options on their website as well. So if you didn't want these, you don't have to go with the kit. You can always buy things separate. They have different containers, but I thought these were perfect. So I wasn't going to complain about that. And then this is the little pot that you put your candle wax in. I think this is great because then you don't have to worry about ruining any of your other pots. You can have one just for candles. Comes with the stickies, the wicks, the burning labels, literally everything four pounds of wax, and this makes a total of 12 candles. So if you want to break that down, it's about five bucks a candle, but you get everything to make these with, plus I had two extra cents so I can make an extra six candles if I buy two more pounds of wax. But seriously, I think this is just amazing. These are the two extras that didn't come with the kit. It's a caramelized praline and banana nut bread. These are my two favorites. This came with the holiday bundle. There is cranberry apple marmalade, pumpkin souffle, blue spruce, and white birch. I did not use the white birch and the blue spruce. I'm not a huge fan of the pine scents. And then all I did is fill one of my pots with water and I put it on a medium. And like I said, I followed the step-by-step -step instructions and I used the whole pound of wax and believe it or not, it fits all the way in this pot. I didn't think it was gonna fit right here. And it did, it magically did. And then I just put this right into the pot. And this takes about 10 minutes, but I have to say this was one of the most relaxing things that I have ever did in my life. Like I had so much fun doing this and I was really sad when the four pounds of wax were gone. I was only planning on making three candles and then I was like, no, I gotta make every single one. So here's the wicks and the stickies. You just stick the sticky part to the wick and then you just put it on the bottom of the candle. The wicks are really long which I thought that was weird but I guess it makes total sense once you start dumping the wax in the candle wicks kind of move so if you've made candles before I don't know if you have but it made a whole lot of sense when I was completely finished and then I'm just stirring a few times just to make sure all the wax melts. And yeah, like I said, this is like super, super easy and the instructions are amazing. When it hits 185 degrees, you take it out and then you add your scent in and then you wait another 50 degrees. So when it's down 135 degrees, you put it right inside your little containers. And off the top of my head, I don't know what these are called, but they do hold your wicks in place. So I'm just going to call them a little metal wick holders. And I liked these too because the wicks kept kind of falling down and some of the wax were getting on like the bottom part. And so yeah, so this is what it looks like when you are all done. And I think these are so cute. I think they're cute, but they're also soy candles. So you know that they're going to like melt and burn to the very, very end.
this was the next day. You do have to wait 24 hours before the wax sets and dries and here we are. Everything is white which I was super surprised because the hot wax was like a yellow and an orange. So yeah, everything turned out white and I'm just taking wire cutters and cutting the wicks because my scissors were not cutting through this and I just like using my wire cutters anyway. So any chance I get, I'm going to use those cutters. And I think these little warning labels are pretty optional. I guess if you're going to make them at home, if you're going to sell them or give them away as gifts, I definitely recommend throwing these on the bottoms. I thought I would make another little fun DIY in this video because Christmas is coming up so if you guys don't know what to get anybody or you want something that they're actually going to use one I think the candle making kit is hands down the coolest thing I have ever received but second off I would love to receive it as a gift as well but I thought that since I was going to be doing a gift basket idea that people would actually want one, the candles are an amazing gift. I love getting candles as gifts, but two, I'm making this sugar scrub. So it's two third cup coconut oil, melt that, two cups of sugar, and then you mix those two together in about 10 to 15 drops of peppermint oil. I just use the Simply Earth peppermint oil and the coconut oil is absolutely amazing. And then after that, I just mix the two colors together because I wanted to get that little candy cane effect. Super cute. I will leave the link to that recipe in the description box below. And um, that website also has free printables that I use that are absolutely adorable. And I really loved how this turned out, especially for winter when you don't know what to get people, but you want to do something special for them or get them gifts. This would be a great neighbor gift, teacher gift. Everybody's hands and feet get dry through the whole winter in their skin. And this is absolutely perfect for that. And I'm just using a Dollar Tree containers. I've had these for a while and never knew what to do with them. I just think this is a perfect for that. And although I loved the containers to the candles, I did make four different scents. So I wanted to get some chalk labels out with a chalk marker and I just wanted to label them all on the top so I knew exactly which ones I were either giving away or wanted to keep for myself because I can't not keep some of these for myself. I mean, there's 12 of them. I, you know, there's plenty to go around. And then I have some white twine and just some brown twine and I'm just going to wrap some of these little candles around with twine. It just gives it a little extra something I guess. So it doesn't look super plain but I think this turned out really cute and it's really simple to do. I picked up this basket from a thrift shop. It was only 25 cents along with these little pine twigs. These were from Walmart. They were 97 cents and I thought this was just a different type of basket to do. I think it's super cute and really really pretty. I think it's super eye catching as well. So instead of just using the normal cut up paper or whatever you use, it's perfect. This Himalayan salt, these came from the Dollar Tree and I think they're so pretty. You get the chapstick as well. Um, I found it there a while ago, but I wanted to keep it because it's just perfect and it definitely matched everything in here as well. I'm just throwing the sugar scrub in along with a candle and then I was kind of balancing out the height of this so I kept kind of rearranging things around just a little bit. Some other things that I added to this basket was this Pond's Detox Mask, this Yes To Mask. I picked up all the stuff from the Dollar Tree and it's super nice looking and it doesn't look cheap 
and you can definitely make a basket at a really low cost and super budget friendly, but still really high end items. And you always have to throw in some fuzzy socks because what is a Christmas gift without some fuzzy socks? And this is what the basket looks like. I think this is so pretty and it's definitely things and items that people will use. Another idea for a gift idea is just a notepad. I love this color. I think this is super pretty and it definitely looks good with the pine needles. This Hello Gorgeous mirror along with this address book. Everything matches and looks super, super pretty. And then you can just throw in a couple candles. These items will definitely get used. So that's what I love most about these two baskets. The candle is like super, super pretty. I'd almost leave the top off giving it as a gift because I love the way they look and they're white. So they're very, very pretty. All right, you guys, that's it for the video. I want to thank Candle Science yet again for sponsoring this video today. I had a blast making these candles. You have no idea how nice it was to have some alone and quiet time as a mom. They made my whole house smell amazing making them and also burning them. I definitely, definitely recommend this. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.